Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today in War Thunder it's time to talk about more of my experiences with the Battlefield Engineer events because I think it is important to document what is going on here, why the reasons it's happening and also hopefully to make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, the problems that I'm running into are exactly the same as yesterday uh, but I'm going to go through what I've been playing, you know, uh, some official responses from Gadget themselves and also uh, some things to look forward to and also so to kind of be, uh, well, at least from my point of view, uh, annoyed about. And uh, I might be a little bit crass in this video, so uh, just uh, before we get started, <laughs> you know, I'm just going to put that out there. Uh, but what have I been playing? Well, I've been playing the A5U2. A lot of people don't like the repair cost of it. I haven't, I've died in it once uh, in about six games, so I don't really see the issue with it. been playing the Soviet boats, uh, which have been quite a lot of fun, uh, to be honest. Uh, these machines right here, the 1204 and the MPK, also been flying out the firebrand of all things and, <laughs> and trying to spade my A6M5 Otsu, which is 27,000 repair, and uh, I'm nowhere near spaded on it. I have four components or four modifications, as you can see. So, where has this left me? After maybe about 40 battles today, maybe a little bit more, uh, where has this left me when it comes to the fourth I-180S? As you remember, yesterday and the day before, I had completed three 180Ss and I'm sat on my fourth. Well, guess what? I'm still sat on my fourth and I still have the same issues as yesterday. So, uh, at this point, if we have a look at all of the parts, I still can't examine anything. Uh, because I have been able to get many toolkits uh, <laughs> over this day and uh, over the last day, but the problem once again is that the components are not dropping. And uh, I can prove this to you uh, through the Gaijin market which I'm going to show. So, uh, as you can see, I'm in literally exactly the same position as yesterday, apart from I have a few more crates which I have been grinding out today, showing the progression that I've had through this event. You know, basically, as you can see, I have been able to uh, play this game quite a lot over the last few days, and after being able to uh, go through and play a lot of games, it's very disheartening for me personally to get stuck at this point, uh, since I am not even at the halfway stage and uh, rare components are not dropping. From the whole of the battles of today, one rare component dropped. Uh, that rare component was not one that I required, and therefore it was useless when it came to the building of the machine that I have. Now, one of the things that I did decide today was in order to help others out, and also to add some Gaijin market money to my account, I've sold the two components that I didn't require for this build, which I got over this build. So, over uh, the two and a half days uh, that I've been grinding my fourth I-180S, I have got uh, three components. Two, uh, which I can't use, and one, uh, which helped me actually complete the controls. Uh, so, I'm still waiting on three uh, for the brake system, the fuel system, and the high lift device, so I can finish uh, my fourth I-180S. And uh, I know there are some people who are stuck on their second one, who are stuck on their first one because of the high rarity of certain uh, certain uh, components uh, that exist, unfortunately, in the game. Now, I thought personally, after my first three, that, you know, the event was going pretty well. I was on course to easily finish uh, the nine. Yes, uh, it took a hell of a long time, but I was enjoying myself. Now, uh, I'm in much more of a state of annoyance and, uh, and well, not really depression, but uh, annoyance is definitely the word. I definitely feel that the percentages uh, that the rare components are dropping at are uh, wrong and even if they are not actually wrong, they are in effect morally wrong <laughs> because there is no way that an individual uh, without using the market would be able to complete even their fourth I-180 which is not even halfway through the grind. So let's have a look at the market 
and uh, also some official statements by Gaijin. So this is my inventory. Uh, one of the interesting things is, first of all, uh, the special boxes actually show up <laughs> on the inventory, but the normal boxes don't. Uh, so I just thought that was kind of an interesting little thing. Obviously the uh, toolkits themselves have gone down in price. And if we go to my orders and my order history, these are the two things that I personally sold. So these were the two components that I was able to get. Uh, the tail control and the vertical stabilizer. I sold them to the uh, lowest uh, that I could just to get rid of them and help somebody else. But it just shows to me that obviously... Uh, the fact is that these components are randomly dropped and even though my experiences with the first three i1 acs's were incredibly positive my experience with the fourth fourth one has definitely tarnished everything if we look at the market itself uh, as you can see the majority of parts now are increasing in price and i talked about this yesterday one of the problems uh, with creating an event like this and putting a really rare uh a really rare multiplier uh, might be the way to say it or really rare percentage on parts is that once people take a wind of this the uh, sellers of said parts are going to become incredibly predatory instead what they're going to do is they're going to pump up the prices as high as they can because the demand is going to be extremely high but the supply is going to be extremely low you know it's a car it's econ 101 and therefore it's going to drive the prices incredibly high for the people who want to buy them therefore marginalizing the market to the point where only a few can buy them so therefore less people get these event vehicles you know it's as simple as that and what we're seeing right now is that in action on the Gaijin store. One of the things that I liked the i7 event for is uh, you didn't have to actually uh, use the market at all with the i7 events. It was there if you wanted to. It was there to sell your parts and uh, do what you want with it. But if you just ground out the i7 normally, you know, uh, as everybody else did, well, sorry, the majority did, uh, you would get your rare components as you got parts, kind of like my experience with the first three i180s that I made. And what this meant was uh, even if you didn't want to use the market, you didn't have to, and you could still get the same prize at the end and do what you wanted with it. But if you wanted to get a head start uh, on the grind, or if you didn't have time, the ability to use the store, or the uh, sorry, the market here, was available for you. So it definitely killed two birds with one stone. It did uh, really well in that regard. Now what we're seeing is more of the predatory side of having a community-driven market uh, where what you do is you artificially lower the probability of certain things making it so the aspects of building the i-180s are incredibly expensive and that's pretty much what we're getting here i mean the high lift device the left all of these parts are more expensive than the i-180s itself they're also more expensive than the vfw and the reason is, is because people want to build the pinks with them uh, instead of other, you know, instead of the i180s or the VFW. And one thing I will point out to people who are feeling very tired with this event at this point, uh, such as me, uh, is one of the good things about the market is if you do get one of these special, you know, uh, drops. And let's say, let's say you get a left aileron. Somebody wants to buy one for 18 Gaijin coins, right? So uh, you sell that for 18 Gaijin coins, and then if you do this and have a look at all the stuff, have a look at the prices, uh, you can see that you can get a decent amount of quite good premiums for incredibly cheap prices. The SU-85A is a really good tank, you know. It's, uh, it's a very good tank destroyer. The MB-152 is okay. The Mart looks good, apart from when it gets uptiered. Lancia is good. You know, the STKFC-2343. You can get all of these for a price of a uh, component right now. Even the A34 Comet 1 Iron Duke, if you want it. So, the, th the main thing is... You know, if, if you want to see the silver lining in this, in this uh, is if you uh, personally, let's just uh, get this sorted. If you personally have one of these and you want to sell them, you can at least pick up some of the old premiums with it. You know, that is the uh, silver lining. But let's have a look at some of the public statements made by an administrator called Scarpa. 
Now, over the years, uh, for me, I believe Scarpa has got a bad rap. I think when it comes to administration duties, there's no winning in the situation. Uh, you can either be wrong or you can be wrong. And uh, there is no, there is no good way. And with some people, you will always, you know, there is no right. You know, you could do exactly what a person wants, and they will turn around and shift the bridge and just say you haven't done it good enough, <laughs> or you haven't done it exactly correctly. I think Scarpa is sad in this position a lot of the times, where he is kind of put out there to uh, talk and make sure that you know stuff is clear, whether it's positive or negative, and therefore he gets the bad rap for it. So. So I don't blame Scarpa for uh, his general statements. Uh, when I've heard him on podcasts and stuff like that, he generally seems uh, very interesting to actually listen to. So hopefully uh, in the future we get a bit more communication from him and others of the Gaijin team. So the first, uh, the first statement he made was script checking confirms that there are no issues in the system. You will definitely receive the parts for the assembly of the fourth and subsequent aircraft. Please note that only the time spent in the battles is taken into account in the event. It takes an average 15 hours to assemble each aircraft, and if you assemble one aircraft faster, the next one may seem longer to you. Fair enough. Uh, if that basically means that this isn't a bug, uh, this is intentional. Now, uh, just to put this into perspective, uh, this uh, machine that I've been working on here, I'm now at the 18 hour point uh, when it comes to battle time and I'm still missing three components. So even by the idea of it only taking 15 hours of battle time, uh, well, I'm way past that and I'm way past how long it took me for the other three I-180s and therefore that leads me to think since a lot of people seem to be stuck on the fourth I-180 a few people are stuck on the second and the third I have not at this moment in time met a person who has got onto their fifth I-180 without using the market may I add uh, just grinding normally so for me I I either this statement is um, not telling the whole truth or there is something that is either affecting my account and many others or we're not able to count and for me personally I definitely think there is something affecting the whole system and if this is intentional then all I can say is this is incredibly predatory and completely designed to force people to use the market when every other subsequent event that we've had, the market has been seen as an extra add-on for people to be able to sell the stuff that they didn't want and to be able to let community members pay Gaijin coin for stuff that uh, you know you could grind out. So, and since it was uh, player-driven, I thought it was a hell of a lot better than the old system, which was just to pay GE for things, you know. Uh, but I think what's happened is we've gone too far the other way here. And uh, a lot of people have talked about regulation of the market. I disagree with that. I don't think Gaijin should get involved in regulating prices because no matter what they do, they will get accused of bias uh, when it comes to it. I think it's just, it would be much better just to change the drop rates of said items so there are more on the market, therefore you have more transactions, therefore you have uh, more people getting invested in it instead of right now where you just have people scalping others because there aren't enough parts, uh, sorry, there aren't enough components all over the place. But what I take away from this uh, statement is that there are no issues with the system. And if this is how this system is intended to work, all I can say is that is absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. And uh, very disheartening, if I'm quite honest, uh, for the reasons that I've laid out and for my experience that I've had. The second point that Scarpa made, uh, the event is different to usual. Yes, it's complex. No, it isn't. Uh, but that's how some of us like it. But I realize that not everyone likes complex, and so there is a shortcut, the market. There are no errors being thrown up that haven't been addressed openly. Data will provide us the opportunity to improve it. There is a possibility of obtaining five pretty nice vehicles, depending on your preference, but it isn't an absolute necessary to obtain them all. I have added the PR122 BIS to my lineup, and I like it a lot. It's now halfway to the HMS Tiger. These are rarer vehicles, so they need to be special. 
It isn't the first non-true vehicles to introduce, and no doubt will not be the last. But the refreshingly different mode is welcome by many in an engine that I would hazard a few people didn't think possible. Play the game, enjoy what you're doing at the time, and provide your comments or bugs to the correct place in a civil way. Nothing is untrue that we have stated, it works as described, it has been verified a few times now as a result of feedback. Duplicate items can be, result can be recycled through the market or held on to for the next aircraft. Since I started playing, same time as the event started, I have had 5 drops of 10 kits in a box and multiple drops of rare items, too many to count. It is recommended that you spend as much time in battle to add to the 10 minute drop box count, nothing else, and any time under the 10 minutes in battle is carried into the next battle, but your activity in the battle must be over 50% with a tier 2 vehicle or it doesn't count. Camouflages for the event vehicles have been gained by players that have appeared in the winning positions in battle on the winning team. If you're in first, it... I'll get to it. If you are in first position and you have lost all your spawns, you may be overtaken by another player. There is no enforcement to remain spectating till the end to preserve that place. That is only for the 10 minute rule. Keep it civil, keep it non-inflammatory, and let's try to encourage teamwork. So let's go through uh, each part of this. So the event is different to usual. Uh, I think we could all agree with that. I mean, it's most similar to the i7 event, but that's about it. Yes, it's complex. No, it isn't. Uh, once you understand it, we had a lot of people who... Uh, we're struggling with little aspects of the event, but after the first two days, we'd smoothed it out, and on the Tech Hub Discord, we'd set up an, an information room which had everything in it. It wasn't a very complicated event. I mean, it breaks down to this. Diagnose vehicle. Once diagnosed, just keep clicking buttons. Right? That's it. Like, just don't think about what you're doing, but just do that. Uh, I realize that not everyone likes complex, and there's a shortcut, the market. Uh, this is the problem, Scarpa. The market is not being used as a shortcut right now. And you know why? Because the components aren't dropping for people who are at their fourth vehicle or more, and even, as I said, reports of people at their second or even first vehicle where the components that they require are not dropping. So you say that the market is a shortcut. It's the only option people like me have because components are not dropping so it isn't a shortcut and because it is the only option this means that people are increasing prices over time for these rare parts because they're not dropping enough supply is low demand is high it's basic economics here so that is a falsehood i'm sorry to say the next one there are no errors being thrown up that haven't been addressed openly fair enough Data will provide us the opportunity to improve it. I hope so. There is a possibility of obtaining five pretty nice vehicles. I don't know how you screw this up. There's six of them. Uh, I mean, unless he subjectively thinks one of them isn't nice. <laughs> Which is fair enough. But there's, there's six of them, dude. Uh, the next thing is that he has ground out uh, two planes. And just remember, a lot of this is from his own subjective opinion. Uh, but he's ground out two planes. He's ground out a coupon, which he's traded in for the Project 122 BIS, as stated. And also, he has ground out uh, halfway to the HMS Tiger. So he's ground out two planes in about half the time it's taken for the event. Uh, the event, in order to fully complete it, is nine aircraft. And if you personally don't think that's possible, I do think it was possible if I was getting the same component drops as I, won, as I was for the first three planes. For the fourth plane, I've just hit a, I've hit a wall. I literally can't get past it, you know, without using the market and without, let's see, what do I actually need, right? So uh, let's go to materials. Let's just do a quick calculation. So if I want to progress forward, let's see, it's actually not too much for me right now. So I need a brake system, which is supposed to be one of the uh, less, uh, which is supposed to be one of the more probable parts that you actually drop. So think about that. So the brake system, the fuel system, and the high lift device, right? So uh, that's 29 gadget coin. That's uh, 30, 
uh, that's what, 34 or 33 Gaijin coin, and then another 4. So, oh, uh, so 37 Gaijin coin just to get past this uh, plane. And there is no guarantee I won't have this issue on the fifth plane. So I'd have to do exactly the same thing. So let's say I get lucky and get the same uh, drops over and over and over for the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth plane. So be able to uh, create all of them. So that's five times, uh, what, 38. Uh, let's round it up to 40. So that's, what, 200 Gaijin coins? And that's a lowball estimate. Uh, because, in my opinion, a lot of these parts are going to increase. So, what? You think that's reasonable? I don't. I don't think that's reasonable at all. And that's the issue I'm personally running into. So, it's not the fact, as I said, that uh, it's not one of the things that he says here. Depending on your preference, it isn't an absolute necessary to obtain them all. Yeah, you're right. It is depending on preference. My preference is I want to obtain them all. And without spending exorbitant amounts of money, after also spending exorbitant amounts of time, there is no way for me to do this event. Unless I want to do both of those things. Normally the way it works with these events is you either invest time or you invest money. This time you have to invest both. Just to get all of the vehicles. And even then, that is looking at a low ball estimate as, as, of, as I said, 200 Gaijin coins. That's if another, you know, I get the same drop rate as I've got over the last few days. Right? Now, just because it's not your preference to get all of these vehicles, it is mine. And I believe in event, you should be able to grind out all the vehicles available. If not, we're in a situation where you say that all of these things are on offer, when that's not technically true. Instead, you have to pick and choose what you want. And the event was not worded like that, was it? It was worded as an event where you could personally go through and get all of these vehicles if you worked hard enough. Remember, 13 to 15 hours was what it said. 13 to 15 hours of grinding, on average, for an I-180S. We're way past this point with the I-180S that I have right now, and I'm not even halfway through this grind. Uh, these are rare vehicles, so they need to be special. It isn't the first non-tree vehicles we introduce, and no doubt will not be the last. I do agree with this. They are special because of their rarity. Just like the i7. The i7 is still special. Even though a lot of people got it, it's still a very sought-after vehicle. Uh, if you go to, uh, let's see, if we go to USSR and price, you can see it's a very sought-after vehicle, right? You know, the highest buy order is still 230 Gaijin coins. People really want this thing. You know, they want to have a go. But at, the, at this point, it's... Uh, if you see it in those terms, then, you know, the vehicles that we have right now are definitely up there <laughs> when it comes to, you know, uh, when it comes to the general cost of them uh, when it comes to this event. The Tiger, the 388, and uh, the Macava. I believe are all 90 and above. The Macava, yeah, the Macava is a little bit lower, it's 88, but still, they're all around $90. And if you think that's fair, fair enough, uh, but for me, uh, I don't. Uh, the refreshingly different mode is welcomed by many in an engine that I would hazard a few people didn't think possible. Play the game, enjoy what you're doing at the time, and provide your comments or bugs in the correct place in a civil way. Uh, well, I'm doing it here on my YouTube channel. If this isn't a bug, this is incredibly predatory. And if it is a bug, then it would be nice to be fixed. Because I physically cannot... If I keep playing the game, there's literally no point in me playing the game. Right? Because, as I've said, I'm already ahead of the game when it comes to toolkits by a lot. As you can see, uh, saved up over 60 toolkits. There is no reason for me to push on apart from to hope to get a rare component. And the last two I've got, I've sold on the market because I don't need them. Like, what do you want me to do at this point? 
Do you want me just to keep playing games? What happens when I get to the next I want AC and I have exactly the same problem? I'll have the toolkits. I've already got them saved up. But the problem is, when I start building stuff, I'll have none of the rare components. So I'm in exactly the same position as I am now. What is the point? Literally, what is the point of me going on with this event? So if it isn't a bug, it would be nice to see some drop rates. I'd like to see some percentages, actually. Because the percentages I've seen, the percentages that people are talking about, I do not want to believe. Because if they are true, I am in disbelief at the predatory nature of the event. So it would be nice to get some clarification on that. Uh, let's see. Nothing is untrue that we have stated. It works as described. Uh, yeah, uh, but as I said, the key fact is you haven't talked about pro you have never talked about probabilities, and this is the main issue. Duplicate items can be recycled through the market or held on to for the next aircraft. I've already addressed this. I'm not going to get to the next aircraft. I f I cannot do anything else to get to the next aircraft. Because the drop rates are so low for me right now. It feels like what's actually happened is there is like a max component threshold uh, for the overall community. Like only so many are supposed to be distributed. And we've hit that. And every time one is used, uh, you know, another one is put into the system. That to me feels like what's going on here. But obviously I don't know. Since I started playing, same time as the event started... I've had 5 drops of 10 kits in a box and multiple drops of rare items, too many to count. I'm very happy for you, dude. I haven't. And this is the problem with using subjective reasoning. Just because it's happened to you, doesn't mean that it is happening to me. On top of this, all you've done is create two. You've created one coupon and one voucher at this moment of time when this was posted nine hours ago. I had no issues with my first three. The fourth is when everything hit a brick wall, which is where I'm at right now. It's recommended that you spend as much time in battle to add to the 10 minute drop box limit, nothing else and any time under the 10 minutes in battle is carried into the next battle, but your activity in the battle must be over 50% with a tier two vehicle or it doesn't count. Right, so let's read that again, because it's a little bit confusing. It is recommended that you spend as much time in battle to add to the 10 minute box drop count. Nothing else, and any time, under the 10 minutes in battle is carried into the next battle, but your activity in the battle must be over 50%. Let's have a look and see if I can find it. Here we go. For every 10 minutes you spend in a battle, you receive a special crate that contains from 1 to 3 aircraft maintenance technician toolkits. Occasionally 10 will be received with player. Any extra time you spend in battle will not be removed from your progress and will be taken into account in the next battle. For example, if you spend 23 minutes in a battle, you are guaranteed to receive 2 trophies and 3 minutes will be added to the time you spend in the next battle. How is that not contradictory to what you're saying here? Moving on. Uh, camouflages for the events vehicles have been gained by players. I want to show you something. And this is generally why I'm annoyed. Uh, I'm not actually annoyed at players. Uh, I think players have every right in their minds uh, to try and scalp people because, to be quite honest, it is <laughs> don't hate the player, hate the game. Uh, <laughs> it's the, way, it's the best way of putting it, right? Uh, so, let's see. These have actually gone down quite a lot, which is quite nice. Uh, but let's see if I can find it. So, we want to have a look at the tiger. 
There we go. Is there really no tiger skin? Uh, Alright, let's try again. Because I've got a feeling they should be there, so... Tiger! Here we go. For some reason it's not under the camouflage thing. This uh, skin, uh, which is a very bog standard skin, is 35 gaijin coin. That to me should show the rarity uh, that it's dropping at right now. Then we have a look at the Macarva one. Macarva's 23 gaijin coin, and as you can see, hardly any of them are up for sale right now. And yes, it is quite hard to get these. Uh, you know, you have to come first place on your team, uh, but at the same time, uh, it's the drop rate out of the crate uh, is, seems to be non-existent for the majority of people. And the last one are the top two ones, because to be honest, like the, uh, the i-180 one is actually really cheap, and so is the VFW one. So at least there are some cheap ones, which is good. But you can see the high tier ones, this one only has four orders for sale. And this is what I mean by artificial scarcity. Uh, if you have artificial scarcity, you're going to drive the prices up. This is for a skin. You know, and it's not even, you know, it's, it's not that special. But once again, subjective opinion, and that's fine. Uh, but anyway, back to the comment. Uh, so yeah, the camouflages are available, just uh, at an incredibly low drop rate. Uh, that have appeared in the winning positions in battles on the winning team. Now, uh, once again, uh, let's just go back to this here. Uh, so we've already found an issue with this part that he talks about here. But it could be debated uh, that, you know... Uh, he's uh, telling the truth. Nothing is untrue that we've stated. Uh, so, this is an untruth. Uh, camouflages for the event have been gained by players. They have appeared in the winning positions in battles on the winning team. If you actually go uh, to here to get the extra boxes, you don't have to be on the winning team. You just have to be... Uh, wait, let's see. You will need to meet some further requirements, be the first in the team at the end of the battle, and you'll receive an extra trophy. See, this is what I mean, right? So, you say, nothing is untrue that we've stated. And then in the next paragraph, you get something wrong. This is the problem, right? If you're in first position, you've lost all your spawns, you may be overtaken by another player. There is no enforcement to remain spectating till the end of the pre preserve that place. That is only for the 10 minute rule. Keep it civil, keep it non-inflammatory, and let's try and encourage teamwork. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I think a positive attitude is right. Uh, but, you know, uh, maybe tell the truth as well. Uh, I understand a lot of these statements are true. The last one isn't, though. Uh, so, might want to change that. The main thing is, is Scarpa has not run into the same issue that a lot of us are running into because he's not at the position that we're at. We're ahead of him. Once he gets to that position, it would be nice to see his ideas and if it matches up or correlates with a lot of the people that I've personally been talking to about the issue. I thought I'd end this just to open up some of these crates just to see if I actually get anything useful, because to be honest, it's been quite a depressing day. Uh, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so we have a one toolkit. Can we get any better <laughs> than a one toolkit? Uh, and by the way, I don't think I've ever got a 10. Hey, look at that. Wonderful stuff. So we got the I-180S summer camouflage. Uh, so I'm going to consume that. So speak of the devil, you know, we got a camo, so, you know, that's good. It is the worst one, but uh, it is still a camo for a vehicle I have. So, awesome. Uh, that, that has actually made me feel a little bit better. All right, let's have a look at the next one. Oh, it's a one again. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. So, two ones and a, and a two gaijin coin camo. Oh, there's a lot of camos there, but look, we're back to a one toolkit. You know what? I feel some great pride and accomplishment from this event. I'm pretty much done with it. I am at the point where I'm thinking about just asking for the vehicles, 
But in my head, what I want to do is I want to just keep grinding this event until the end and see where I can actually get. So I'm going to do that first, and then by the event, if I don't have all the vehicles, I'm going to ask for the ones that I don't have. But right now, uh, I don't have a lot of positives to say about this event. I think the general structure is fine. Uh, I just think the, uh, the probabilities are screwed. And they're screwing people like me, and they're screwing a lot of other people as well. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. I'd just like to thank B. Young, Blackie, Daniel Stanton, Dyslexic Child, Martinez, Matati, Moxie, Nito, Nick Graham, Alobrolo, and Super Cacti for supporting me on Patreon.